Hi team, welcome to my session that is an audio based SOC interviewer questions. I had already uploaded five sessions related to SOC. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to make sure that you have access to my future videos because I have planned to make much more videos on SOC. Hi guys, my name is Rajveer and you are watching the cyber securities and interviewer tips and guidance channel. So today we will discuss about false positive, false negative, true negative and, and true positive. Today I am making this video because I have received a communication from one of the aspirants to make the videos regarding the types of SOC we have. So without time wasting, let's start the session. Interviewer has asked that since you have experience in SOC, can you tell me the alarms and its type and its means? So candidates should be given this answer that there are four categories of alarms if we talk about the SOC. Number A is, is true positive. That means correctly identified or correctly working of tool. For positive alerts, true alarm generated will be considered as a true positive. Or we can say that when alert was landing and our tool has given the genuine alarm. That means guys, if alert was landing on our uh, platform and our tool has provided the legal alarm, that means the alarm was genuine and the alert was also genuine. Next move to the second type. That is false positive. False positive is also considered as the false alarm. So tool has provided the alarm when no attack taken place. This generally happened when some policy was wrongly configured or due to the n number of con uh, complex policies. We have to ignore such alarms generally because no actual attack happens in organization and tool has provided the, us the false alarm. So guys, false alarm means when there was no any event generated and our tool has provided us the false signal. So such alarms would be considered as the false alarm. So we can ignore such alarms, but we have to make sure that why such alarms has come in our SOC tool. Was there any misconfiguration or uh, uh, if yes, then what is the reason? Or uh, is this the policy automatically configured due to the complex infrastructures? So guys, for every false alarm, we have to make sure that no alarm such be there in future. So make sure that there was a minimum false alarm configured for every organization. Next move to the second part. Second is false negative. False negative means when incorrectly rejected. So guys, this is the most serious conditions. Why false alarm, uh, why false negative would be there? Let's try to understand. When attack has taken place and no alarm was generated, this is the worst conditions because hacker have enough time to destroy our organization and we are sleeping due to no alarm was generated by our tool. So such false negative alarm should be avoided at any cost. So why this alarm was generated? So guys, this is the most worst conditions for our organization because actually attack has taken place and no alarm was generated. So such alarm should be avoided at any cost, any cost. And we have to make sure that why alarm was not generated because this is the worst condition as I said earlier. So every uh, every administrator should be treat this uh, this uh, false negative as a serious matter. Next move to the second one. What is a true negative? Guys, a true negative means rejected correctly. When event has no attack and tool also has not given any alarm. This is the ideal condition. That means no alarm or uh, no event signaling and no alert was generated by this SOC tool. So true negative is the ideal condition. So we may ignore such uh, alarms as well. So guys, from today's discussion, we has concluded that from the above four alarms, false negative alarm should be treated as serious and should be avoided at any conditions because uh, 
attack has taken place and we are sleeping because of the no alarm was generated by the SOC uh, tool. That means we are not in active mode. If we have no idea what is happening in our organization, that means they, there is no use from the organization point of view to spend such a huge expenses over the manpower resources. So, so the false alarm, uh, false negative alarm should be treated at urgent conditions and should be ensured that why this alarm was not generated. So guys, today we had discussed about the four types of alarms. These, these are the alarms uh, you should be known if you are working or uh, in a SOC or in a security domain. So guys, I hope this videos will definitely help you kindly subscribe hit the bell icon and don't forget to share guys one more thing if if you have any kind of problems you are facing in terms of interview clearance kindly comment me i will try to def, uh, i will uh, i will try to provide you the best answers for your interviewer questions thank you so much